Hi guys, welcome back. Just wanted to give you a quick tour. Um, I'm in my um, RPG world, which is a modern city. Um, and there's something I've created which is quite cool. I've had it for a bit, uh, but I've been meaning to um, to make a video on it. So, um, for anyone that's a fan of Doctor Who, I have my own TARDIS in the world as a way to get around. Um, I can summon my TARDIS with the key. And it appears as if from nowhere. So um, it's just a, a three by three space. Um, I didn't go too heavy with the design of it. It's not. Um, I could have built some custom maps or something to make it special. But um, for the functionality, it works. Um, I can go into the TARDIS, um, and we come inside. Uh, but I want to do a bit more work to the inside and create extra rooms. Uh, but we've got our control panel um, and we can set the uh, location we want to go so um, if we go, I'll, just, I'll go to home um, press this button see the, these repeaters on um, part of anything you can hear the uh, thunder in the background because uh, where I've just went is actually not too far from where this location is um, but we go out the door, we leave the TARDIS, and we are now at um, at the home, at my house. So um, I'll show you quickly around the commands, um, but to, to show you where, if you think the other one is still out on the road out there, when I chuck the key down, when it does, move, it does disappear and come back every time. So um, it reenacts. Um, it reenacts uh, being uh, uh, being moved. So let's go down and have a look at inside. Right, so here is where everything's all hidden underneath the mountain. Uh, it doesn't look very pretty, but this is the the brains of the uh, what's going on. So um, I'll quickly skim over everything. I'm not. It's not a tutorial, um, but we've got units here which are testing for. Um, the button press so when if I bring the TARDIS out it tests for this button because this button isn't attached uh, to any any command block um, so it tests for that button press um, and then um, as long as um, where is it here as long as uh, on the admin scoreboard you're set to uh, 2 then uh, you can enter the TARDIS. So, so no one other than me basically can enter the TARDIS. Um, we've also got a little setup here which is testing for the door uh, which was inside the TARDIS um, there. So when that door opens it then teleports you uh, to the invisible armor stand that is actually here um, which you can see when I, when I give them blocks. There's actually an armor stand there. Um, so that's how everything moves um, and how this is created. It finds the armor stand, it deletes everything, um, it teleports the armor stand to the new place, um, new location, and then it um, rebuilds the TARDIS. So that's what all this does. Um, we've got this here, which is uh, the, the bank of information, the bank of locations, sorry. Uh, so each individual location. Um, it uh, removes and adds ticking areas to there's a ticking area here to keep this all running and there's also a ticking area wherever the TARDIS is um, that's that so I can summon the TARDIS no matter where uh, I leave it if no one is near it it will still come to me and when I teleport to a new location it will still go there if no one's in the um, in the uh, ticking area so it still works um, this here is for a uh, different detection so this is testing for the key and then it's setting off um these the the fill this is filling all the um all the area so this removes the tardis from its current location um teleports the armor stand to the key and then um Sorry, click the wrong one. Then removes the ticking area, um, 
and Riaz took an area with a bit of delay. Um, I did have that chained onto that one where I was getting some um, inconsistency, so I used uh, a bit of redstone for the delay instead. Um, that is for the stone button click inside the TARDIS. As you can see, that wasn't attached to anything, so that um, is testing for the click and then setting off um, the location. So this, te this teleports to the set location that you've already preset using the item frame selector. Um, and then this sets off the rebuild. So this rebuild happens from both either the button press from inside the TARDIS or the uh, the key. Um, so this just rebuilds. And then at the end, um, I thought it would be cool just to add a, a bolt of lightning to its arrival. But um, well that's pretty much it. Um, I, if people want tutorials how to fully rebuild this, just leave a comment um, or send me a message. Uh, but this is my, my TARDIS. Thank you.